the DA is pushing for John Stan Hunsen's vice presidents, uh, pushing Mashatile out. Remember, uh, Mashatile is the ANC elected uh, vice president. And now in the coalition, it seems like uh, the DA have started to push for their own leader uh, to become the vice president uh, of the new government of national unity. This really is uh, coming as unexpected because I still remember the other time family we were talking about uh, um, Helen Zille saying that uh, they did not push for any vice presidency position. There was such a video where she came out saying that. But uh, now it seems like uh, tables have turned around. It seems like uh, maybe they sold uh, ANC a dummy uh, that they are coming all of a sudden and beginning to demand that uh, Paul Mashatile be pushed out and instead a DA uh, uh, vice president be uh, elected into position. So we don't know how this is going to be handled, but it seems like the uh, the way that it, was, it, it is being done is actually in a, a very, very unprofessional way where there is a lot of mud slinging that is happening uh, with uh, Paul Mashatile. They are trying to do some character assassination of him uh, as a way of, uh, you know, decampaigning him and uh, finally achieving the result of pushing him out. And uh, once he's out, and then the DA could have the vice president coming in. Mm, it doesn't smell good to me. If the DA would have uh, uh, those uh, the vice president in, and uh, we understand also that uh, the DA are pushing for about 11 cabinet posts that they are demanding from the ANC. And uh, those also include the foreign affairs, it includes the home affairs, it, uh, in, it includes uh, justice, and um, I don't remember which other one, but that they are counting amongst the 11 that they want to control. And uh, it's not going to be uh, a walk in the park, I tell you, because uh, these are very critical ministries that the, I don't know how the ANC would survive if they were to let these ministries uh, go to the DA. It means the DA uh, will be the de facto uh, government, uh, party that is running the government because they'll be in total control of things. But there's something that is just funny about uh, the the finance ministry in uh, South Africa. I've realized that the finance ministry is never uh, a bone of contention. It seems like uh, they never fight for the Ministry of Finance. I don't know. Uh, I'm yet to find out. I'm yet to learn why is it that the finance, um, finance ministry is not very sensitive. While, while when you look back uh, in Zimbabwe, you'd find that uh, the finance ministry is always going to be the very first uh, position that makes so much noise, in, you know, in in in, in line to, uh, with the uh, defense and things like that. Zanpf would not want to lose finance and would not want to lose uh, also the the minister of defense. But it seems like uh, this looks like uh, not that much of an of an issue when it comes to South Africa. So. We don't know what is going to be coming out at the end of the day if Mashatile is going to survive the push that is coming against him. But uh, I have a video here where Paul Mashatile talks about what is happening to him. Uh, the soft-spoken guy, uh, always very soft-spoken, uh, and I just hope he's as soft as that in real life or his heart is as soft as that. But he's very, very soft, and uh, we don't know whether he's going to survive this or these guys are going to eventually be able to push him out. Well, I don't know because, uh, you know, people run these things on social media. I became aware of uh, stories that uh, things must be written about me. From the time I was in Houghton, so going back 20 years ago. And it does seem like it's stories that must show people that I'm not the right person to be where I should be. Uh, I'm surrounded by friends who are not right. Uh, and, and, and stories like that, that, uh, uh, you know, I, I live a life like I'm a very rich guy. Uh, are you a rich guy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm obviously not. <laughs> I remember, it, it, these are perceptions. Uh, you know, it's a lavish lifestyle. Uh, 
But you see, what people forget is that there are institutions that deal with that. In government, there are lifestyle audits. You declare where you live, what you own, uh, <clears throat> and I've done that. So, so if people want to know whether I live a lavish lifestyle, they will get it from their lifestyle audits that have been made on all of us. It will come to say, yeah, no, he does live beyond his means or uh, whatever. So, but this is, you can't do anything about things like that. You know, you know I can't stop people writing. Uh, where I live, it has never been a secret. People know where I live. Uh, you know, uh, it's out there so <clears throat> so there we have it uh that's uh puma shatile day uh just you know talking about what is happening the issue of the mud slinging that is happening against his character against his his, uh, his person uh but of course the issue of uh the, the, the being rich or being poor that one is definitely <laughs> an issue because these guys are rich uh, that one is not a, it's not a disputable issue the guys are rich uh because in especially with the issues of uh the tenders that they, they allocate to each other and things like that you can't expect poor mashatile when there are tenders that are ranging into hundreds of millions into billions and then he cannot be having some way that he also has quite because we've known and seen how these things are done uh, right in South Africa. The issues of tenders have always been an issue. And right now the DA is also pushing that very issue, saying that they want to be administering such issues on uh, how uh, the tendering process is being done. And remember, this is what Mnangagwa is capitalizing on. He's just giving amazing uh, tenders. Right now we are talking about another tender that is being given to Wicknell. Again, while Wicknell is still in the midst of this storm, there's already a one billion tender that is uh, about to be given to Wicknell Chivai. Very, very amazing, very surprising how things are done by these politicians without even considering the complaints, the plight of the people and uh, the other shortages that could be happening in the country. So we are yet to see if the DA is going to finally be able to push uh, the men out until they will uh, replace him with one of their own and uh, whether this is going to succeed very very soon because uh, president ramaphosa will be definitely uh, announcing the, the cabinet the final uh, list of the cabinet so let's wait and see when it happens we'll be there to give you updates thank you so much family for joining me on this show remain with us as we continue to give you updates of what is happening in this day <laughs>